With X Defiant officially released, most FPS fans are wondering, can this game actually compete with Call of Duty? With the newly announced Black Ops 6 officially marked on our calendars, all the COD fans and FPS goons out there have jumped onto Ubisoft Connect to throw their emails to be hacked by a major corporation developer and head right into the battlefield. I had talked previously about X Defiant and what it feels to be like a decade ago, but now it feels like it's a perfect time for me and the crew to break down the official release of the game and answer the big questions in our official review of this title. Is it worth jumping into this free-to-play live service game? Has it finally fixed the skill beast matchmaking problem? Let's quick scope some noobs in their spawns, run in place in the winner's circle, and jump right into this. So when we look at X Defiant, let's start off with our good. And when I look at this game as a whole, it, it I guess the best part about it is that it's not COD. It's the anti-COD game. So everything you hate about COD, X Defiant's becoming that game of well, if you hate this, then we are going to do that. And it's almost like, well, you hate this super realistic gameplay, then we're going to go with an arcade gameplay. Or, hey, you hate skill-based matchmaking, then we're going to go no skill-based matchmaking and social gameplay. You want actual characters with some sort of real abilities that actually mean something? Well, then guess what? We want that. It's not going to be that Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 3 of the BS characters that are just a bunch of randos that, are, that mean nothing for you. I mean, the, these characters actually are connected to Ubisoft games and they actually have some meaning to why they are the way they are. And yes, they could be outrageous, but their their characters make sense for the realms in which they're playing in. So I feel like X Defiant does that anti-COD mantra well, which a lot of COD killers had always come out and tried to say, well, you hate COD, then we will be that. Especially because Battlefield was always that COD killer or that competitor to COD. And they obviously dropped off from Battlefield 2042, and now we have to wait and see how the next game's gonna be. But the idea is, is that, hey, there's not really a, a COD-like game, so now you have X Defiant that can fill that role of being the anti-COD game, similar into its focus, but they do the different approach to how they kind of do their daily, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. So, Hockey, what is your good here? Yeah, so I have a few goods. Um, I'll start with the maps and the game modes. I think they're pretty simple, uh, but they are fun. Uh, you can't really get lost. They're they're pretty straightforward. Uh, it kind of feels like a game that anyone can pick up uh, and play. So the simplicity, I, I think, is something that uh, will, will be easy for uh, everyone to kind of uh, go towards. Um, I also think, and I want to get your guys' opinion, I also think the guns actually feel uh, pretty balanced with the exception of the sniper. Uh, I feel like every, uh, you know, army game, the sniper, uh, if someone gets good at it or if you get good at it, it's, you know, almost impossible uh, not to be uh, OP. So um, I think the guns feel pretty good. Uh, I can't wait for ranked. Uh, to come out uh, in, in the next month or so so we really see kind of what guns they put in rank and what guns they keep out well angelica what is your good here yeah i got two goods and, and it kind of bounced off both of what you guys talked about i think this has a good mix of this kind of arena fps shooter mixed with kind of this overwatch character with abilities hero um type shooter so i think they find a pretty good medium in between them um that does create its uh, a base um, that feels unique and feels kind of fun. And I do think I agree. Most of the guns feel good outside of the sniper and shotgun, which we'll talk about uh, when we get to the bad segment, because I do think there needs to be some serious changes there. Um, but most of the guns feel pretty good to me. And I also like the time to kill the TTK. Um, you know, the game is a little bit clunkier than if you go from COD to X to Fine. It definitely feels clunkier, definitely feels slower. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I actually think, like Haki said, it makes it a little bit easier for the general audience to get more involved in without snorting a line of Cheeto dust like you usually have to do for COD um, before you rev that game up. Also, 14 maps, right? Uh, separate into two types you got 10 arena maps four progression maps um so pretty solid with the, the maps coming out at release along with the five game mode so those are two things that i think and they got the basics right like mars man said playing unlocking guns just by using the gun unlocking characters by doing challenges some of the basic stuff that we've seen multiplayer games pull away from because they're trying to earn some extra money off you you can actually earn although the store is ridiculous rex defiant but i will say you can grind to get some of those basic things that it feels like multiplayer games have pulled away from yeah i feel like that that addition of like the actual unlockable content instead of it being that that really stupid cod method of using these guns to then unlock another gun in the same family and that consistency of just being stupid and i kind of said this to you off off camera it's almost like that we are almost elevating x defiant because they aren't doing the dumb things that 
other games are doing. Even though, like, for the most of our era of FPS titles, they've never done that dumb stuff. It's almost like the X Defiance is doing the, the basic normal things that most FPS games have always done. And it's almost like, wow, just because they aren't following in the dumbness of COD, we're going to give them points. And and there is a good and bad in that because it's like, then what's our standards at this point that we're going to like elevate yeah. games because they're not doing COD dumb things. But it's also kind of like a breath of, of fresh air saying, hey, you know, they actually aren't following in the trend. So it's like, that's a good sign at least. And so with the good, we have to talk about the bad. And, I, and I'm going to push back on hockey a little bit. I think there is a quite a bit of inconsistency. I think there the guns in this game have some real problems. I think that you have hit registration is horrendous. It's reminding me of the Halo Infinite levels of hit registration where I'd run around a corner and then somehow still get sniped or still get killed like they're playing the movie Wanted and it frustrates the crap out of me. I think snipers are way too good. I mean, it makes everyone a snipe king and I, even me i'm I, I start sniping dudes out of nowhere and i'm not a good sniper like i i can be decent at times but i started looking like i was a g quick scoping dudes left and right and if i'm capable of doing it then there's a problem that means it makes it way too easy for people to quick scope and makes it where it's like it, there's not really a skill gap anymore some dudes who are actually good at it are going to start destroying people and i was one of those victims that i was getting clapped left and right the shield's going through the wall don't click scope! Engaging combo! No, he just clicked scope. Yeah, why is it invisible? Help! Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Ubisoft. Oh my god, I'm gonna die from invisibility. Yeah, well, I'm about to go hard in the paint, right in front of chat and everybody. So watch me as I do this to people. Everyone can watch. I stand in AJ snipes me for the deep. Deep of the map, baby. And I feel like sometimes even when playing the game, my bullet would jam where I would be firing my gun and bullets aren't coming out. So it feels like there are times where this game has some clear problems with its gameplay. The weapons can be inconsistent and there's bugs. I mean, there are some hilarious bugs like people running in place after the game is over. The guy running in the background is pretty funny. That's actually pretty sweet. There was times where my dude got killed and I'm freeze framing, just sitting there watching the guy just walk right past me. There are times where dude's eyes are popping out of his forehead. That was gross. That was sweaty as hell. I feel moy. What is it? What is on that guy's eye? Yo, his eyes are popping out of his socket. What is this? What is this game? What's happening? And I'm just sitting there just la just laughing to myself like this is an actual game that is out right now. And, have and, and it bugs happen. Yes, I, I get it. But it's like. Damn, there's a lot of stuff here that needs to be fixed. And I know the X Defined devs are, are off doing that right now. It's just that it's just kind of funny because it's like, damn, there's so much stuff to laugh at in this early stage. And they're not the only game. There's a lot of games out there that still have this problem. Uh, but Hockey, what is it bad for, you, for what you think about this game? Yeah, I got a couple here that I wanted to highlight. Um, the servers, I think, definitely uh, still a little rough. I've been I disconnected a, a few times even after... Um, you know, the devs had, had said a few things about that. At the start, it was, um, you know, pretty horrendous. I wasn't able to get into a few games right right at that first couple days. Uh, but the big thing I want to talk about is the game doesn't really feel as polished, uh, you know, as I thought it would be, you know, after uh, playing, um, you know, the beta and then not hearing uh, about the game for a few months, which was pretty weird. Um, you know, it kind of just got dropped on us and... You know, it doesn't feel uh, the way I thought it was going to be. Now, I don't know if that has to do with a little bit of the arcade backbone that it has. Maybe I'm not used to it. Uh, but yeah, it definitely uh, doesn't feel as polished. And I think that's where the hit registration uh, problems are really coming on, on all of the guns. Um, so definitely something that they're going to have to take a look at. Angelica, what is your bad here? Yeah, I mean, I... I kind of piggyback again hit registration is obviously number one but we've seen this with a lot of SP fps games and we and we talked to devs um are talking about that as is their number one priority i believe is the hit registration um so that is obviously a, a big issue that needs to be fixed because like you said um you can wrap around a corner and you still find yourself dying you're shooting somebody and feels like you're having a full clip and it takes like a bit of like a half a second for the life of when you look at their life over their head, it feels like it drains down a little bit, like delayed. Um, so the hit registration is the number one issue. The sniper and shotgun, I do think, need to be, you know, they, they need to get nerfed a little bit. And I, I think there needs to be a little bit more, uh, you know, 
the, the sniper needs to feel a little bit more impactful when you're aiming and you're shooting and it just feels like it's a rifle with an ACOG scope on it um, that people are using um, but here's the here's the big one for me like these are things that we've seen in other FPS games the one that I feel is unacceptable this game has pretty much been delayed for over a year right when it went from the first time we played the beta to the release date 19 primary guns guys uh, that we haven't even talked about the different guns that they have modern warfare 3 started off with 37 new guns right so almost double the amount of primary guns in modern warfare and that doesn't even include the 77 guns that they carried over so this is their official release but they call a preseason mode and again, after a full delay, you're in a preseason mode. The rank is not even really out. You're doing a trial mode for rank. So you're not even in a full release um, with this game. So to me, again, this is what you're calling a release. You're calling it preseason mode. But again, we have to judge it like a full release. And we can't normalize games that we've we've judged in the past and we've, we've bagged on them for releasing games with not a lot of content because they call themselves live service or free to play and then give you drip content months and months down the line. So after almost a year, and I'm pretty sure it is a year, right? Now, tell me if I'm wrong. From the first time we did the beta to the official release date, and again, lack of guns, polish, you know, these are things that are not very acceptable after a full year delay. Yeah, and I feel like that's kind of, driving us right into that next question of is X Defiant a COD competitor? Because I feel like I hate calling games a COD killer because no game will ever annihilate COD with the Activision back behind them and they always get that top sales at the end of the year. But can this game be a competitor? Even when a COD game is trash, it always sells to a top level. So can yeah. it compete? And I feel like the real test is going to be when Black Ops 6 comes out. And, and I feel like the biggest thing that I noticed right away was that when playing X Defiant, it reminds me of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, right? So that's the feel I got when playing X Defiant. Um, and I did enjoy Cold War to a certain extent. I think there was a plethora of bugs, very similar to what X Defiant had. And it made the game like, yeah, you know, this is cool, but we need more stuff. And then obviously the COD method of just releasing another game and just forgetting that Black Ops, any good thing Black Ops had, and putting in, uh, uh, you know, the World War II debacle. Um, the, that came out the following year. Um, but the idea was is that it, it's this game can do well, but it depends on whether they add content. And I think that ties directly into what Langelikil said about the weapons. And I feel like, yeah, you know, you don't want to fall into the same Halo Infinite syndrome, right? That they went through where the gameplay was fun, but there's nothing to do. And after that six months, you lost 90% of your following base because you didn't have anything to play. And right now you only have five total game modes and you're not right now. What you need to think about is all these weapons we need in the, in the background. We need to add weapons in a month in, right? And then every month you're getting weapons and you're getting modes. You're going to get, have to get factions. You're going to have to start adding characters and customizations that you can add so that you can get people to keep playing. And then if you get more money and so far it's doing pretty well, if you get more money, then that means Ubisoft should have the incentive to add more people maybe to this dev team to try to help them with a live service because they've had quite a bit of time to develop a live service game and have it ready for release like i can throw a lot of shade at three for three for that same problem they felt like they had a game on release but they didn't have a plan they didn't have anything in this in the in the background ready to go and that is an indicator of bad leadership and bad organization so if x defiant thinks that they can compete with cod the only way you're going to be able to do that is adding content. So right now we're in that honeymoon phase. The game feels good. But once you get through a month, two months in, and there's not a lot of content, people are going to start saying, well, you know, maybe is it worth to keep playing? Especially when Call of Duty Black Ops says everyone's going to play Black Ops. We're going to play Black Ops, right? Even if it's trash, even if everyone hates it, we're going to play it. And the yeah, problem is, see. yeah, we're going to see. But like, I can guarantee you that Call of Duty will have more weapons. They'll have more maps because they have a dev team of near a thousand people working on this thing right so they are built to, to be ready right that's the difference so how are you gonna how are you gonna deal with that how are you gonna prepare so that's a, what's my opinion Aki what do you think is this a cod competitor yeah so listen it's uh it's it's small uh the game's small but i think it can because it has a you know it's kind of a different identity uh than call of duty and you had mentioned it Marcelo. they're kind of doing the opposite of what 
Call of Duty uh, is doing whenever they can, which is kind of funny, but you know, it might actually work. Um, but like you said, man, they have to definitely add characters, guns, maps, modes. Um, I think rank is going to be huge, like a, a huge turning point for them positively if it comes out good, um, you know, and people play it and, and it's not toxic, which we, we might know that it that immediately might be. Um, but I think, um, you know, they might have a chance. And listen, COD has been fleeting at least the last two years. They've kind of lost touch with their fans. Um, so, you know, X Defiant does have a chance to compete, um, even though they are much smaller. Uh, but they definitely have to just keep the ball rolling, you know, keep that snowball down the hill and, and gather momentum and just keep going. Well, Angelica, do you think they that X Defiant can actually compete here? I say this in the short term, yes. In the long term is going to be the bigger question. You have five months, like Mars mentioned, you have five months till Black Ops 6 comes out. And this has got to be the time period where you establish yourself because the first person shooter genre is up for grabs and you can, I think, I you know, grab a piece of the pie, right? A lot of people have kind of left Halo Infinite and given up on it. Battlefield is a walking corpse. Destiny 2 will probably get a bit of a jump because of the new DLC that's coming out. And Call of Duty is just hanging there, right? But not a lot of people excited about even Season 4 coming out. So this is an opportunity for the short term to really establish yourself doing the things that you guys said. And let me just say, I think people are starving for an alternative because let me give you some numbers, guys. The first week of release... Uh, and this is from Ubisoft, and I hate engagement numbers because I think like copies sold are much more hard to finish answer of people's interest. But because it's free to play, you got to use some of these engagement numbers. 7.6 million unique players. That means they have downloaded the game and pressed play at least once um, for this game over this first week of release. And they also had a top concurrent players of 700,000 players. I mean, this is pretty good performance for its first week. That means people are was at least interested to see, hey, what is this X Defiant thing? And it also circulates onto the console per Circana's uh, player engagement. Number four for active player users for the PS5, number three on the Xbox series. So I do think people are interested in an FPS shooter different than COD. I do think they do a good job of establishing a base, which is a mix of some of the Overwatch and Call of Duty elements together. But the warning is this, Mars man, and, and Haki. And I want to just know your quick thoughts before we get the final verdict. The thought of having a battle royal or a kill streaks, I think is a huge mistake if X Defiant takes people up on. I know that has been talked about by a lot of kind of big COD players on things that X Defiant can do. You do not want to be like them. You want to be different. That's the best way you have going forward. Yes, can you do some some things like kill streaks, but not doing like when you get a UAV. Do an accommodation, a, a killing spree, triple kill, kill, quad kill, some of those stuff that make you feel good, get extra XP points. But you had heroes. That's the point that you don't need kill streaks for because they have abilities. Dive further in into some of the you know getting rid of cheaters. Dive into more maps. Dive into more guns. Dive into new factions. Don't worry about the other stuff. It looks like the Call of Duty stuff, like a battle royal, kill streaks, and getting the game faster. Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna answer quick, I, I don't think that they shouldn't do anything that COD COD players are telling them to do because COD is, and even from the fan base themselves, are sick and tired of COD. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna copy COD. Like that's not going to be the formula for success, right? I think, and I, on top of that. This team is stretched pretty thin, right? They need to develop a live service game. Adding in a battle royale to now work on is just going to make it a lot harder. And that was always the argument I made for, for three for three. Let them focus on actually making a multiplayer game with content rather than saying, hey, make a battle royale and that will fix a problem. That's not the answer to, the, to all your issues. The answer is make a game with content and then people will enjoy it. And then with more investment, focus on the arena shooter. Yeah, then, focus then in you'll on have, the arena. Focus in on this hero shooter thing that you've done. Yeah, I think that's unique enough that it's not a copy and paste, and you have something that's interesting. I think that's the point. But hockey, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm with you guys. Um, they've carved out kind of their own identity in the um, you know first person shooter genre, and they only have a few months to to really nail it in. So. Um, stick to what you know, just stick to that arcade, um, you know, fun, simple shooter that anyone can pick up and I'm sure they'll find success. Yeah. And with that, let's jump to our galactic grade and, and I'll give this game a really a seven and a half. And I felt like it has some solid bones. And, and right now, Metacritic is hitting around a seven, a 71. 
out of 100. And I think it's a, it's a fair grade at the moment. Maybe I'm being a little lenient on some of the components, but I feel like it has some solid bones to be a fun game. But the problem I see right away is that the servers are very inconsistent. With playing so far, I've I've crashed at least three to four times with a lot of different bugs. The full registration is very inconsistent, and we have to really see whether or not this live service will meet up to what people want to see. And there are some pretty gross things that that make me want to bully Ubisoft for, for the grossness of the pay that of some of the stuff that you're doing. But it's not like it's a brand new console because everyone's doing it. So it's, it's almost like they're just jumping yeah. into it. But I gotta say, if they could add content to the game and give it just more life, I honestly feel like it'll be a fun game to continue to play and actually have people maybe say, hey, should I play COD Black Ops 6 or play X Defiant? And if they're on the same level, there's probably some people that might jump into X Defiant. Or if it's COD's a little bit worse than X Defiant, they might just jump to X Defiant and play that more often until Black Ops does something that makes people want to jump back into it. But I'll be honest with you, I like the fact that they have these factions. I like the fact that they have some abilities to them to throw in a different component of gameplay. But they have to try to survive the onslaught with new types of modes and stuff so that if fans want to jump in and, and try it out, right, and can stay there long enough. Because if you follow in what Call of Duty's doing, and, and we're all kind of getting tired of CODs ever revolving bullshit that they do all the time, then I feel like people are, are hoping that X Defiant will survive and and it kind of tie in i think it's a good time to play now because i feel like it's it's a good feeling to see where they're at i want to see what they do to add more to play and if you're more like concerned with the bugs yeah you could wait later but i wouldn't I, I feel like it's good enough to play at the moment i don't think it's really a bad game to play right now sure the bugs can be annoying but i don't think it's really going to be anything to hinder your play the, the hit registration needs to be fixed as soon as possible because i feel like some that could piss people um, all together. But, Haki, what is your galactic rate? Yeah, so my galactic rate, I'm a little bit higher than you. I have it at a 7.7. Um, again, it's it's a fun game. Maps, game modes, I, I think are fun. Um, and I just wanted to go back to what I had said, the guns feeling good. What I really meant there was I, I didn't really hate any gun, um, which I, I thought was very positive. I, I've used, you know, all the guns that I could, and um, all of them, you know, I, I liked all of them. So if they keep adding guns and, and they make the guns good, they keep adding maps that are simple and fun to play, um, you know, I, I think they can continue to get better. And the big thing for me, and you guys know this, is I play ranked. I played ranked uh, at a high level in Overwatch. I play, uh, played ranked in Call of Duty. I'm definitely going to hit ranked here. Um, this could get into the eights for me if the rank uh, is good. So. We're gonna have to take a you know a month to see when that comes, but when it, once it comes, I'm definitely gonna be hopping on that, and uh, we'll see how it is. Angelica, what is your galactic grade? I'm a little harder on it uh, than on this game than you guys are, and and for me, it's because of not where I'm not grading where it can go. I'm grading where it is right now, and I'm at a 6.5. I think it's just slightly below average, and then I have a similar score when uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 came out because they kind of run into the same thing. We thought Modern Warfare 3 was a glorified DLC, and for X Defiant to be delayed as long as it did and to come out with the amount of bugs that it has and the hit registration issues and server issues, I, it's hard to let things slide for it, even though the core gameplay is fun. But not a lot of guns with 19 primary guns compared to some of its other competitors. And you mix that all together, and I give it a slightly below average, and I'd say a play later. If it does some polishing, more so than the content, because, again, give and take with the guns versus the maps and the modes, which I think was solid. But the polishing does need a little bit of ramping up, especially the hit registration. I'm at a play later, but the core is there, and the opportunity to compete is also there, especially in the short term. Yeah, and I feel like X Defiant has a good chance to make a jump to be a, a staple multiplayer yes. game going forward if it lands the right way and actually has content. But what do you think about X Defiant? Are you interested in jumping in? Are you a little hesitant to, to find out about this COD competitor that everyone's talking about? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. We have been posting a lot of videos on here. Go check out some of our videos on another FPS game on Halo infinite and kind of the state of the game itself and is it heading off into the final moments of the sun uh, heading off into sunset 
realm here. We're going to the shadow we're realm. The grave. Oh, we're going to the grave. Yeah. We'll, we'll go realm. find out. Go click on the video and let us know what you think there as well. But until next time, this is Mars Ben Crew signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>